Alright guys, so now that we understand the theory behind cracking a WPA password protected Wi-Fi network and we also did it live, you guys are probably realizing that, well it's like actually kind of scary how easy it is for a hacker to figure out these passwords. So the important thing that we need to understand is how can we protect against this? I mean, how can we have legit clients still be able to use these password protected networks but keep the bad guys out? Well, as you're watching these tutorials, we're going to talk about a bunch of different techniques that we can use to secure your Wi-Fi network. But in this case, and one of the most simple things, and I'm sure people tell you all the time, is you need to have an awesome password. And by that, I don't just mean, you know how websites say that you need at least one uppercase and a number. No, I mean that you need like an awesome password. You need to have uppercase, lowercase, you need to have weird symbols make it as long as you possibly can and another thing that people don't realize and what we just saw is in order to perform that attack this guy needs a dictionary a list of passwords that he think may work now some people's dictionaries are like terabytes long now if you just took a quick look at that word list then what you're gonna notice is that whenever you use a dictionary attack those passwords are made up of you know people's previous passwords and these are not only things like password one two three four but they're things like sports teams um, they are things like famous people you know something like soccer common words so if your password that you choose for your access point isn't even a word at all let's say it's just three j k eighty two eleven and you know like you have a bunch more thing like that uh, explanation dollar sign whatever do you think that this is gonna be in anyone's password dictionary it's not because this is kind of what we're seeing this is what they're going after vulnerable passwords and unless they're gonna brute force you in other words just try every combination possible then I mean it's pretty much impossible that someone has this as a possible option so use not words but just random stuff <laughs> it sounds stupid but if you just start pounding away at your keyboard if you don't even know what your password is going to be then there's no way that they're gonna so long passwords number symbols uppercase lowercase and you're gonna be very protected in the sense that they're probably not gonna guess it with a dictionary now another thing that I want to point out is this say that you are you know just at your school Let me just write that so what we saw is whenever anyone knows the password to this access point then essentially what it means if they're smart enough is they can read everyone's traffic between their device and the network it was super easy to decrypt and read so let's say that this is you this is your laptop at school and obviously you can't change the password for the network I mean you can get in there technically but you're not supposed to and if you do it you're gonna get in trouble so you go to the systems administrator back like, hey dude you need a better password and he's like nah, it's fine it's fine so now you're in a pickle <laughs> and just so we can remember that let me drop pickle. <laughs> that is the worst pickle ever alright so now you are in a predicament so you want to be able to securely you know transfer data back and forth but you have no control over the password because the access point it just doesn't belong to you now the best thing that you can do in my opinion is you can use something called a VPN now in order to understand what a VPN is and it's actually pretty simple the concept at least is you first need to understand what a proxy is and if you guys already know all about this stuff then you know just go ahead to the next tutorial but for those of you who don't, this is golden information that you're about to get. And this is not only useful for securing your traffic, but also um, it's gonna, you, you guys are going to see why it's useful. So basically what's going to happen is, let's say that you're at school still. I don't know if you guys can see that. All right. So let's say that you're at school and this is your computer and you decide that you want to go to Netflix so this server is Netflix or whatever website now do 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 you're good at watching movies but the systems administrator after a few days he's like oh whoa 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 all of this data is coming in the school network and it's from this dude right here 
and he's looking at Netflix when he's supposed to be doing schoolwork so he's probably gonna put up something called a firewall now a firewall is basically a way that says okay I am gonna block this person from reaching another destination so he can either just block your computer which he doesn't do that often more likely than not he's gonna say okay I know Netflix IP address which is you know uh, like 2.2.2.2 whatever alright so he says that anyone on the school's network whenever they try to go to this website then we're just gonna block it so it's basically a way to say that no one is allowed to go to these sites I'm gonna look at the traffic if anyone's going to the 2.2.2.2 server then it's blocked so now you have no way of getting to Netflix from inside the school so a proxy server is basically a middleman. In other words, okay, we cannot go to Netflix no matter what. The systems administrator blocked this server, so we cannot access that server. However, what we can do is we can access a proxy server. So like I said, a proxy is a middleman. In other words, what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, proxy. Jeez, oh my God. <laughs> I have this voice activated thing called um, Alexa from Amazon and I think I think she just thought that I said her name and she started talking and I'm like what the F is do you hear that she keeps talking and I thought someone was inside my house wow freaked the crap out of me alright where was I okay so instead of accessing a server directly you can say hey proxy server can you go ahead and get some Netflix movies for me so it's pretty much a server that acts on your behalf now the systems administrator he's gonna monitor your traffic still and he's gonna say do 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 okay Bucky is not going to Netflix okay this is good so he doesn't know that what you're doing is you're actually having this server right here go get the movies for you and bring them back so all he knows is that you're not going to this boom roasted so that's how proxies work and that's how you can get around going to you know sites that you probably shouldn't be going to at school so why did I say VPN is what you want to do well a VPN is essentially like an enhanced proxy because not only is it a website that acts on your behalf but all of this data between you and the proxy or VPN server is encrypted so two benefits first of all anyone monitoring you anyone looking at you like that they're gonna have no idea what websites you're going to on the outside because it's just gonna look like you're always going to this one server no matter what you do you're always just going to one website right there now since the data is encrypted even if they were to look at that traffic it's all gonna look scrambled the only people who know what you're really going to is you and the VPN so once it gets to the VPN I mean you can go to eBay you can go to reddit you can go to the new boston.com you can do that and that and there is no way that your it, and it's not only like the people like your uh, systems administrator at work or school it's also the government it's also it's also your internet service provider they have no idea what you're doing so I recommend that you get a VPN even if you you know are over a secure network even if you're just at home they are awesome I love them I highly recommend them and uh, yeah there you go recommend that you learn more about them but there you go that's the basics of how you can protect your own traffic from being spied on on a wireless network and if you own that wireless network get a nice secure password and you'll be golden so thank you guys for watching see you next time